had the twins four years ago. We named the girl Ezra and the boy Malachi, which were the middle names of my husband's siblings who died a few months before the birth of my kids in a car accident. Last year in August, our daughter Valerie was born, and since then we've had our hands pretty full. All the kids sleep in the same room, as none of them want to be split up during the night, so the room across the hall from ours contains two beds and a crib, a place for each kid. We've sort of developed a routine where my husband and I work on different days. I can do most of my work from home, so a lot of the time we're in the house for most of the morning. On the days when we're both going to be home, I get up at 7 a.m. to get a bit of a head start on my work, while my husband sleeps in until about 8 or so. The kids will usually start to get up around 8 as well, and they begin calling for us from their rooms. Whoever is awake is in charge of going in, helping them out of their pajamas, helping them brush their teeth, and changing Valerie. Then all of them come downstairs, and my husband and I make some breakfast while the kids watch some TV. Last night, my husband had to stay at work later than normal, due to some sort of error in the company system that needed to be fixed, so I let him sleep in a little longer than normal. I was sitting at my kitchen table, working on my laptop, when I started to hear Ezra calling for me. Mommy, I'm awake! I got up and walked into the kid's bedroom, heading over to the window and sliding the curtains open to let in some light. Valerie was already awake, rolling around in her crib. She shouted when she saw me come in, and I smiled down at her as I leaned in to pick her up. With Valerie in my arms, I walked over to Ezra's bed, where she stood up to hug me before climbing down. I walked to Malachi's bed next. He wasn't quite awake yet. He was still stirring and rubbing his eyes while he yawned. <sighs> Hi, Mom. Good morning. I ran my hand through his messy curls. After that, I walked over to the closet and grabbed a t-shirt and some pants for Malachi and Ezra, handing Ezra her own clothes and setting Malachi's down on his bed as he was just beginning to get up. Then I changed Valerie's diaper and put her in a different onesie. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Malachi. I called back as they buttoned up the rest of the onesie. I'm not Malachi! <laughs> I turned around to see Ezra giggling. Oh, sorry, Ezra. I could have sworn I heard Malachi's voice. She giggled again. Silly mommy. That wasn't me. Then who was it? I picked Valerie up from the changing table. It, it was, was Andrew! <laughs> Ezra and Malachi both shouted at me, and Valerie squealed. Who? Me, mommy. I looked over at the third bed at the boy sitting in it. Wait. I recounted the beds in the room. One crib, three beds. Three. Three beds when there should have been two. Two for the twins and the crib for Valerie. I stared at the boy on the bed who was grinning up at me and giggling with Ezra and Malachi. I said nothing as the boy... Andrew, apparently, got up from the bed and walked over to me. What about my clothes, Mum? Uh, I don't know where they are. In the closet. He pointed. I walked over and opened the closet, and sure enough, there was a third section in there now that hadn't been there before. I absentmindedly picked out a shirt and some pants and handed them to this strange new kid. Once all three kids were dressed, sorry, no, once all four kids were dressed, we went downstairs. I sat Valerie in her playpen and turned on some cartoons for her and the other kids. I went into the kitchen and began to make waffles, looking up at the kids every few minutes to make sure they were okay. Hey, Mommy, can I have some water? I looked down at Ezra, who was standing next to me. I filled up a cup with water and gave it to her. When she finished drinking, I took the cup and put it in the sink. Hey, Ezra? Yes? Who is Andrew? My brother! Right. How old is he? She held out three fingers. Three. So he's your little brother. 
Ezra nodded. <laughs> hey, good morning. <laughs> I looked up to see my husband, Jonah, running toward the kids as they all leaped toward him. Once he greeted all of them, even Andrew, he came over to me. Good morning, babe. He kissed my head. Yeah, I replied, still distracted. Is... is something wrong? He refilled the Keurig pod. Look at our kids. I took a waffle out of the iron. What about them? I could hear the coffee sputtering out of the machine. Look at them. How many are there? Four. Exactly. He smiled at me. <laughs> are you trying to tell me something? What? Do you want another kid? Because honestly, I think we should wait until Val is a little older. No, that's not it. Oh? Then what? Andrew? What about him? I realized then that he didn't find it weird that Andrew had somehow joined our family overnight. You don't think there's anything weird about him? Anything at all? I mean, he always forgets to clean up his toys. Well, that's about it. Jonah grabbed his mug of coffee. Do you think there's something wrong? I didn't know how to respond. We ate breakfast, and everyone acted like normal. Andrew remembered being a part of things that happened yesterday and, and even weeks ago, even though that was impossible. What was I supposed to say? Hey, Jonah, I don't know what's going on, but this isn't our kid. He just showed up here this morning with a bed and belongings, but he's not ours. I spent the entire day on edge, like something bad was going to happen. And it did. Mom! I was bringing in a load of laundry, and I was standing at the top of the stairs with the basket full of clothes on my hip. I heard one of the kids call me, so I turned around and suddenly realized that it was Andrew, who had been standing right beside me. Now, he was tumbling down the stairs. Oh my god! I stood there, in shock, and he bounced down the stairs until he hit the bottom, where he was no longer moving. I put down the basket and raced down. He wasn't breathing. I don't know what came over me, but I dragged his body outside and threw it down into a basement that we never used. Then I went back inside, as if nothing had happened. I waited for someone to ask about him, but no one did. I even asked Malachi where Andrew was. Who? He replied. I felt relief at that point. I was right. Andrew wasn't my kid. I knew it. I went upstairs and finished the laundry, glad to know I wasn't going crazy. I walked back downstairs and into the living room, where I could hear a movie playing and the kids giggling. I walked in to find Jonah with Valerie on his lap on one couch, and on the other couch I saw Ezra, Malachi, and... Andrew. I froze. Hey babe, come watch the movie with us. I moved slowly over to an empty chair. Andrew watched me the entire time. After a few minutes, he spoke. Daddy? What's up, Andrew? I looked at Andrew, who was still looking, staring at me. I don't feel good. I felt cold. What's wrong? My head hurts. Andrew replied, staring hard at me. Jonah has been dealing with Andrew solely since then. I don't even want to see the kid. I know he's not my kid. So why can't anyone else see it? Why are they all acting like this is normal? I don't know who, what Andrew is, but he is not my kid. <laughs>